Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to do a hair tutorial on this hair. It is a wash and go. You know I have been living and loving wash and goes lately. I'm sorry if you hear any background noise, but my daughter's here so we kind of got we got a multitask. Um, nonetheless, it's going to be on this hair. It's using technically one product, um, except um, I did use an oil as well. Like, does that count as a product? Because, like, I always use an oil for the most part. Nonetheless, um, so, I mean, if you're like me, it's one product. If you, you know, if you wouldn't be extra, then it was two. All right, whatever. Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys what I did, how I achieved this wash and go. It's kind of another one of those kind of effort, not effortless, because... <laughs> It took some effort, but more of um, just a very nice, simple, fluffy, soft, no crunch type of wash and go. And I actually love these wash and goes, especially in this um, like fall, winter, because I feel like there's not that much humidity, so it's not going to shrink up that much. You want to see? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to say hi? Just say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> Mommy, but why you got your eyebrows saying your lipstick? Why? Mm -hmm. Because it looks pretty? I will mine. I want okay. my lipstick. Okay, we'll get you some in a second, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Well, go ahead, go watch the TV. Okay. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be on this hair. I'm actually loving it. Like I said, I kind of like like these effortless, like softer type of styles, like in the winter and fall and winter, which is kind of the time frame that we're moving into now. I did do a couple of these in the summer, but I find when I do like those that I don't use like either like gels or custards, um, the humidity just attacks me and destroys the wash and go that I just put so much effort into. But wash and goes like these, I really like in the fall and the winter because the humidity is not coming for us, okay? Um, I really like um, how this wash and go turned out. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this and how, you know, what product I use, then stay tuned for the video but before I get into the video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you are new here to my channel thank you so much for stopping in and checking me out I know you guys clicked on this video for a reason so like make this view worth it like don't just sit here and watch the video and it's not worth it if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button turn your notifications on so you do not miss my next upload um, if you are old here and you are an oldie but goodie subscriber, thank you for so much for sticking it out with me. I know I go on these hiatus is sometimes, but you're going to work. Like, I have work, I have bills to pay, I have a child to feed, I have mouths to feed around here. Like, it's not just about me anymore. <laughs> so, I take little hiatuses here and there. Um, it's not on purpose, trust me. Usually, 80% of the time, they are unplanned. What? 90% of the time, maybe like 100% of the time they are unplanned. Nonetheless, you guys still come back and watch my videos, so I appreciate you guys so much. Um, but make sure your notification is turned on, even if you are a old subscriber or new subscriber. Make sure that bell is pressed, because if that bell is not pressed, you will not know when your girl uploads a video, because YouTube done changed its whole, whole plan. I remember when you became YouTube partner back in the day, it was like a rite of passage, and now it's just like free for all okay so make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss an upload from me and that you know the more you guys watch my videos the more you comment and engage with me the more i will be able to be here and film a lot of videos for you guys so um i did film a I did film a tutorial on this makeup look if you guys are interested. I don't know which video is going to be out first. If this video is out, if the makeup video is out first, then I will have it linked in the cards. I think it's over here. Um, if not, I will have it lit, uh, linked down in the description box um, once that video is live. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next one. Before, I, I need to start plugging my stuff because I always forget. And I, but if you guys want some tips on how to start a natural hair care regimen, then check out my ebook. It's $2.99. It's on my website. I will have my website linked down below so you guys can check that out. Also, if you want one-on-one -on -one natural hair consultations with moi, 
um, then definitely check out the links below. I will have all of that information and the details and the packages on that down below so you guys can check that out. Help support the channel, help support me. And just, you know, if you guys, I mean, honestly, I am here for you guys by any means. You know, I put these videos out for you guys, also for me, because sometimes, like, I'll be like, what did I do that day when I did my hair? I'll, I'll go back and watch my own videos sometimes when I need, like, a little motivation to do my hair. Um, but I also put them out for you guys, just so you, I mean, it's so many, so many wash and goes, twist outs, and things like that. A lot of the times, the only thing that changes is the products, and the application doesn't really change that often. This one, it was a, a slightly different, but nonetheless, I also want to bring you guys some things that you can interact with me off of YouTube as well. So definitely check out my ebook, definitely check out my natural hair consultations, and all of those things help support the channel. And any links of the products that I use in this video, those will be down in the description box as well. So if you guys are interested in checking those out or purchasing them if you don't already have them um, those things like that also help support the channel so now that I am done promoting let's get into the video bye So I'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair. The only thing I have in my hair at this point is my leave-in conditioner, which I use the Coco and Shea leave-in conditioner from Eden Body Works. Um, and so that's how we are starting. I've been trying out this new thing where I apply my leave-ins in the shower. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with the Eden Body Works Coco Shea hair oil, and I just apply that over, pretty much over that leave-in conditioner that I have in there. And I just go in and make sure my hair is detangled using my Tangle Teaser brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Curl Defining Cream. This is going to be my only styler for today. And I heard things about this and I've had it for a very long time. I just never tried it. Um, so I decided to try it now and I really like how it came out. Now originally I was going to go through and start shingling my hair, you guys will see. Then I actually decided not to do that, I just decided to rake it through and do it that way and just kind of um, define my ends and certain sections. But I didn't go through and actually um, shingle my hair like I normally would. Like you guys see me, I'm starting like, yeah, I'm going to shingle my hair, it'll be more defined. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't have time for this and I end up not doing it that way so you guys will see that I end up stop doing this at some point. So what I ended up doing was just keep wetting my hair like if I felt like my hair was dry or just wasn't getting as defined as I thought I just spritzed my hair with more water instead of adding more product and then working it in that way and breaking it through and doing the praying hands method and that's pretty much what I did all over my hair I'll show you guys again in the front section but yeah I just wasn't in the mood to shingle and as you guys can tell in the beginning my daughter was here so it was just like yeah that's not gonna work so here I'm just straightening out my part because it was slightly a little off probably not noticeable to you guys but it was noticeable to me um, but I went in the middle part. I usually do a side part, but I've been like feeling middle parts lately, so I'm gonna do a middle part. And again, I just apply the oil, detangle. Make sure my hair is really, really detangled. This brush is bomb, by the way. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the curl defining cream and smooth that into my hair. And I just make sure it's really, really coated. And if I feel like I said, if I feel like my hair is not wet enough or not getting defined enough I just spritz my hair with water I don't go in and add more product because that's how your hair starts feeling weighed down if you feel like your wash and goes aren't defined enough try adding more water that's kind of why a lot of people recommend doing your wash and goes and applying all your products in the shower uh, but for filming purposes I just don't like doing that but even like when I'm not filming I just prefer just to sit do that in the shower so just keep your water bottle handy and just keep spritzing your hair if you feel like my curls are not getting defined enough your hair is probably not wet enough so just a little suggestion for you guys I'm sure you guys have heard that before 
Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna work and smooth that in. go through and click some of those dead ends um, I'm not so much worried about length right now I'm just worried about health so I don't mind just going through giving myself like a slight diva cup of some stray straight ends that we have here and I could care less about um, the length I just really want my hair to be healthy and look healthy and just really look uniform throughout I'm still growing out my undercut it is not fully grown in yet which is kind of like one of the downsides about having an undercut, but you know, it is what it is. It'll, it'll grow back eventually. It's catching up, but just not as fast as I would want it to. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just shake my hair so that my curls kind of clump together and you know, and I let my hair dry. And after I do that, this is my hair after I banded my hair overnight and I took them out and I just, love it. I didn't sit under my hair to dry for this. I just let my hair air dry and then I banded my hair and these are how it came. This is how the look came out. I really really like it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much again for stopping in and checking out my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!